hi my friends welcome back in this video i'm going to teach you the fastest way to detect any short circuit if you want to fix shorted motherboard in minutes stay tuned this video is for you let's get started but please don't forget to subscribe like share and for anyone who want to accelerate learning i can be your mentor all links in the description so in this video i'm going to teach you step by step how to detect any short circuit in any motherboard and of course this is the only video you need to fix any shorted motherboard regardless of its difficulty and without the voltage injector without the thermal camera just the multimeter and the knowledge i'll give you right now so when you get a shorted motherboard don't think a lot what you have to remember focus on coils look this is coil this one is coil here also we have another coil we have coils everywhere in the motherboard so these inductors are the key to detect any short circuit in any motherboard in seconds and of course in some motherboards you can find coils like those as you can see here we have pl this is coil not capacitor this is the hidden key that experts use to spot short circuits and you also my friend you will be one of this expert today so make sure you watch the video until the end because we gonna study no shorted motherboard and other shorted motherboards in order to understand when handled persons and the surprise my friend is that i'm going to teach you on laptop motherboards and also on the desktop motherboard in order to make this course complete course that's why i told you this is the only video you need to repair any shorted board in the world not just for computer but for tablets smartphones all electronic devices because i'm going to share with you an universal working principle to detect shorts how i show you how so we need just the multimeter any multimeter and choose the continuity option so let's begin with this motherboard first and check if it is shorted or not so the grounds for beginner is everywhere as you can see on the board everywhere this one also is ground we have hair ground ground hair also is ground everywhere as you can see so let's select this ground hair as i told you we gonna use the coils the key to detect short circuit fast let's go here we have already no short in the circuit here no short here no short no short we have already no short this coil oh we have a bit about 16 okay is it a short again we have about 16 in the multimeter guys this is not a short because this coil belong to the cpu circuit and we know that the cpu has a low resistance so please don't be confused this is not a short this is normal reading for cpu so let's check another motherboard okay this one for example here this is a nice motherboard so the black broke on the ground okay let's check these two coils no short no short this one here oh we get already about six is it a short let's check this one also six 5.4 guys is it a short no my friends please don't be confused these coils are for processor this is where beginners and even some professional technicians become confused and began changing component please don't do it do you want the proof i'll give you the proof right now so because this processor is connected to the board i cannot remove it like this let's check a motherboard with a simple processor just to understand let's use this motherboard we have a removable processor just to understand my friend the black probe in the ground this is the cpu circuit so let's check these coils okay we get about six this one also same reading about six is it a short 
let's find out okay and you will remove the processor as you can see like this no the processor is free if i go and check the short is gone do you see guys okay let's connect the processor again like this and check again we have sex okay let's make it 100 percent understood for beginners i'm here for you my friends don't worry okay i will put the red probe here okay and in the same time i will open the processor look we have a short open gone close as you can see gone you see guys because when i open the processor the processor become free do you see even if i didn't remove it but it's not connected to the board once i close or connect the processor we have a short why the processor has a low resistance about 6 ohm 10 ohms depending on the type of the board that's why we get this low reading and many beginners become confused right here and even many of my followers told me via email that they find a short on the cpu circuit and they remove the mosfet or capacitors please don't do it i hope you understand but stay tuned because i'm going to show you a real shorted board and you will be impressed guys before diving into shorted board let's check first this desktop motherboard and see if the working principle is the same for laptops and desktop motherboards or not because many of my followers ask me to check desktop motherboard also let's do it we have also the same working principle ground everywhere as you can see everywhere we have ground my friends and of course the negative side of the electrolytic capacitor also is ground you can use it so for the desktop motherboard this is inductors so let's find out so let's begin with the ram circuit so the black prop head on the ground and check the coil look no beep no reading means this is good no problem okay let's pass directly to the processor circuit so the black probe on the ground so the black probe on the ground and let's check oh we get 3.8 4 is this a short okay let's find out let me remove the cpu okay and find out if this is a short or not the cpu is removed okay so let's recheck again one probe here on the ground another probe here the short is gone let's check this one also here you see guys high reading no short let's reconnect the processor again okay processor is connected let's close the socket black rub on the ground check the coil again low reading do you understand my friends this is not a short we do it also for the desktop motherboard and pay attention it's not just for the processor but also for the chipsets the not bridge the pch same working principle also you will get a low ready let's check this inductor over here do you see we get about 22 in the multimeter this is not a short this is the resistance of the not bridge I hope you understand. Now let's move on to shorted board. The moment everyone waiting for. Guys, this is a shorted board. But let's find out. So the black rub here on the ground. Let's check the coils. This one. Good. This one. Good. This one. Good. This one here. 2.1. 1.8. Okay, this is a short. This one here. Guys. Here we have a short but because this is the cpu circuit i have to remove the cpu to make sure this is a short or not okay let's do it right now so let me remove the cpu okay the cpu is loosened okay the cpu now is removed let's root check again 
so always the black probe on the ground and let's check again so normally i should not get a short or a low reading let's check oh 1.8 guys 100 percent this is a short it's not the cpu resistance we remove the cpu this one is shorted and to be sure you can check here the 10 term capacitors same reading the ceramic capacitors same reading all of them you understand guys this is a real short let's see another board so guys this is the second shorted motherboard please don't worry this is an old motherboard but my goal is to understand to make you understand 100 percent okay the processor is removed if we check the coils next to the processor socket look we get about 3.5 this one also here 3.5 if we check capacitors as you can see in both sides 1.7 you see in both sides means shorted circuit so guys i hope you understand and you can differentiate right now between a real short circuit and a non-short so please if you have any question and if you want to add anything please in the comments i always do my best to answer all comments and please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and for anyone who want to accent learning you are very welcome i can be your mentor the link of my patreon page in the description so please remember always use the coils or capacitors to find the shorts but remember that coils near the cpu or pch will give you a low reading it's normal of course it's normal to get 9 10 15 6 no problem about all chipset circuits otherwise no you have to go a low reading and no bip okay so thank you very much and please don't forget to watch the full series in my channel you will find handles of excellent videos and as i told you welcome to your comments and your feedbacks you are very welcome